Okay, so here I am with this circuit, which has been running now for <coughs> several hours. And you can see that it is actually still running, albeit not putting out much light. Now the topic of this video is, quite some time ago I watched a John Bedini video. And in the video, he had an alum battery, I believe it was. Well, I don't know. The guy built some batteries. Um, he was taking lead and he was reforming batteries and he was mixing alum and he kept it secret for a long time. And then he come out and he talked about it. And it was a, it was, I believe it was alum or it was a carbonate anyway wasn't Epsom, it was some mixture of alum and something else. Okay? And he quite cockily said that you wouldn't be able to get your hands on this stuff and he showed it and whatever. And I can't remember, it was a lab chemical that he had picked it up. He finally came out and, 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 and told people what it was. But that's not the point. The point is that he showed a demonstration of wherein he had an oscillator, okay, and similarly he was producing a small amount of light, you know, like I've got four one watt LEDs and they're just, you know, barely putting out. It doesn't even hurt my eyes to stare right at it. Okay, now he made a big deal out of the fact that the oscillator was running at below 600 millivolts saying that you know it would um, it, it, it was showing that he had finally built a battery chemistry up that supported his little theory that you know an inductive event spike introduced free energy and that it couldn't possibly keep oscillating well this here I'm going to show you okay I'm going to measure it and we're going to have a look and see what we got four forty nine four fifty okay well below 600 millivolts and we're still oscillating with an XPS A06 we're not using a Bedini circuit actually we're using a blocking oscillator jewel thief arrangement um, now if here's the thing a lot of people say well there's actually 600 millivolts there you're just you're running loaded and therefore, you know, your loaded voltage is something greater than, you know, your something your 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 loaded voltage is something lesser than what you really have. <laughs> I read that comment before. Well, here's here's my point. Okay, first and foremost, I'm gonna try to release the circuit from the super cap and see if it will restart. Okay, so I just put it back, and I just put it back up, and you can see, sure enough, no, it won't restart. Okay, so if it won't restart, then what is my voltage? Right, if, what was my voltage, truly? Let's have a look. We all know that caps tend to drop a little bit. They don't recover quite like a battery does, is what I'm trying to say. Might might recover or they might drop a little bit. Shortly thereafter, I mean it would drop. You know, might recover a tiny bit. Okay, so it recovered a millivolt basically. Alright? And then the longer I hold these leads on here, it would force it to drop, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there you go. We never had no 600 millivolts to begin with when we were oscillating. So why does it oscillate? It oscillates because the spikes 
The spikes make it back into the base and the base sees a higher voltage. Okay, that's my theory. And I think basically what John Bedini has to say on that theory is bullshit. Thanks for watching.